Hello, everybody. I am so, so very grateful to be here tonight with all of you sitting in your living rooms, sitting in your pajamas, sitting wherever you're sitting, wherever you are. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. I'm not going to take up any precious time listing off um, a bunch of names that you will most likely not recognize, but that are very, very important names to me. But I always hated when people did that all the time. You know, the lawyers and their doctors and their chiropractors, and I'm not gonna do that tonight. I am so humbled um, for this unbelievable honor. I, I really still can't believe I'm standing here holding this. It, it's very surreal. And I think I'm too young, don't, don't you? I'm far too young. Um, so grateful to everyone who has helped me over the years. And oddly enough, I am also very grateful for the ones who did not because they only serve to make me stronger, way more persistent, more resilient, uh, more empathetic. And if I've learned anything in my life up to this point, it is that good things come out of bad things. Music has shaped my entire life in a way that is really difficult to articulate completely. My dad, who I love despite his many difficulties in his own life, was a really terrible alcoholic um, the entire time that I was growing up. And for that reason, I did whatever I could to stay out of his way. That was my main goal, to stay clear of him. And that meant going into our basement. And our basement was where the old record player was. There were stacks of vinyl. Uh, my mom's guitar was off in a corner somewhere. She tried to learn it at some point and then gave up, but there it sat. Um, had he not been who he was, I would never have been who I am. Good things come out of bad things. I'm a songwriter because of his alcoholism. That's the plain truth of it. I would never, ever have started writing songs had I not gone down into that basement. Listening to music became everything to me. My therapist, my comfort, my security, my teacher, my friend, my solace, my joy, my confidence, you get it. It just was my whole world sitting down there playing records. If there was ever a time in human history to give young people better access to the arts, now is that time. Now is not the time to cut the arts from the curriculum in schools public or private. Kids who are involved in music in particular benefit in ways that we are only now really beginning to understand. Kids are more social and more well adjusted. They develop better coping skills. They have far less anxiety. They have less depression. They experience a sense of community and belonging. They sleep better. That's science. Their blood pressure is better. That's science. And they think more clearly. They are more positive, and yes, music makes them happier. When my mother was near the end of her life, in the grips of Alzheimer's, and she didn't know who she was, or where she was, or why she was, when she was nonverbal, not eating, unable to hold her head up, or walk, or dress herself, in the midst of all of that, when we played a song for my mom, she could sing along. She could tap her foot, and it was those moments when I knew, and we all knew, that she was still in there. Music is magic. Music is unbelievably special and important to human life. It always has been, and it always will be. I want to thank Bruce Allen and all the Bat Girls for taking me on. I want to thank my label, Universal, and Alan Reed for signing me. He wanted to sign a grunge band, and he got me. I want to thank my longtime travel companion, my tour manager, Chris Brunton. We have been around the world a few times. Um, thank you, Nadine Boshane, for the early days and looking after my mom. Without Nadine, I couldn't have continued to be on the road and do a job that I love very much. And I want to thank my dog, Mitty. Um, she's been amazing, and uh, animals are so important in our lives, too. 
thank you to all of you for inviting me into your lives, into your minivans, into your basements. Um, it has been such an incredible life so far. I'm going to keep going right up until I can't and I don't. Uh, so thank you, Canada. Thank you to all my fans all over the world. Good night. Look after yourselves.